Hello and welcome to another episode of Mega Man X. My name is Martyr and thanks for joining us. There's a couple things I did that I feel like I need to note. So actually instead of going to the final stage, we're gonna go to the armored armadillo stage really quick. Cause there's a couple things I feel like I should share with you guys before I head into the final stage. And don't worry, we'll get to that in this level. Uh, first off and foremost, you're gonna wanna fill your sub tanks before going into the final stage here. And the best way I've found to do that is to go to this stage. And you see these bats right here? Well, they kind of infinitely respawn if you just run backwards and forwards and they die in a single shot. So if you just do that over and over again, it's a really e cheap, easy way to fill your sub tank. And I just wanted to share that with you because it's kind of really important you might want to do before tackling the last level. Oh, also, you see that bat that I just killed? Well, he respawns, and he has a 50% chance, every time you kill him, of dropping a uh, free life. Believe it or not. But he is currently defying the odds. There you go, you see? And I suggest you to get up to about 10 lives. And there's a reason I want you to do that. And I'm just going to show you how really quick to just do that. Just get 10 lives really quick. Very useful to have 10 lives, not only for the final stages, but for a little secret I'm about to show you up ahead, which I've already collected. And there you go, I have about 9 now. See, it doesn't really even take that long to get. I mean, I've only been filming for about 30 seconds here. I've already gotten, what, like 4 lives, 3 lives? There you go. Oh, 9 lives is the maximum, but anyways. So let's move along here. I'm going to try to get to this stage as fast as possible and blow by all these enemies as fast as I can for you here. So we're going to have to get, unfortunately, to the end of that stage for me to show you what I want to show you. But what I'm trying to show you will make all the boss fights, ugh, all the boss fights up ahead ridiculously easy. By the way, I found out you don't have to kill that guy if you want to get this heart take. You can just jump up here and do that and it'll just be easier for you. Alright, so here we are. We're almost at where we need to be. Let's watch out for the few... Okay, now on this ledge, this leads to the last part of the board, which is to the um, Armin Armadillo. But there's something else far more important here when you get all of the collectibles. When I say all of the collectibles, I mean even the ones that I missed before, which is like the one from the ice stage. Um, and um, there was a, a sub-tank in the uh, generator, which I think is like the static charge dude. Now you see this this pointless energy tank up here. If you collect this five times, or four or something like that, and then kill yourself and then come back here in a row, you have to come back here in a row four or five times, there will be a upgrade thing right here. And you have to have collected all the other hard tanks, all the other sub tanks, all the upgrades, everything. And what this will do is enable you to do this. Yes, believe it or not, that is a fireball from Street Fighter. <laughs> and that literally blows through every health as boss just about in one shot. So it's very important for you to, to do that if you really want. If you for some reason end up down here, by the way, you can just dash jump up there. It's, it takes a, a little work, but it's not impossible to get back up there, you see? So if you happen to miss the jump, you're like, oh, whatever. Uh, another thing to note, once you get the Hayuken, um, you cannot put in a code to get it back, and once you turn off the game, you have to do this process all over again. So, it's one of those things you want to do before hitting the end of the game. Like me. Alrighty then, so let's head to the final board, shall we? Hopefully we can get through some of that before um, we uh, end this episode. There you go, the code's useless, so don't, just ignore it. Alright, here we go, final stage is... It's more than one. <laughs> Beep. Let's split up. I'll go in first and then you can slip in while I keep the main defense force busy. Yeah. Beep. Oh. So here we are on the final stage. Uh, if you want to see the Hayuken action, I will try to show that to you. It's a little bit difficult to use. You literally have to do it as if it was in Street Fighter. And that means bottom roll forward thing. You know what I'm talking about, the 
you know how to do a fireball from Street Fighter. If you don't know how to do a fireball from Street Fighter, then you, you're very new to the gaming universe. But basically, it's down, roll forward, fire button. Another thing to note, you cannot do it if you have any damage at all. So that kind of sucks. But, you know, you still have sub tanks, and trust me, you'll have plenty of opportunities to regenerate yourself. Now, on this part of the stage, I like to switch to the missile dude. The missile uh, upgrade. And the reason for that is because these guys are going to start flying towards you and trying to kill you. And they are so annoying. And if you're not careful, they will knock you down and then kill you. You'll fall to your death. So, trust me when I say you want to use this defense just to get past that one annoying part of the stage. The rest of it kind of smooth for the most part. Uh, let's see here. Hopefully I can get an armor uh, weapon upgrade here. Not weapon upgrade. Some health before I get to the final boss here. Let's kill, kill, kill. Lots of these dudes. You guys remember them. Not too hard to kill with the new ex uh, bleh, upgraded X-Buster. Nothing too terribly challenging, like I said. You know what I'm going to do here? Actually, no, it doesn't really matter, I just realized. It doesn't really matter. So. Oh, it's Boba Fett! Boba Fett! Boba Fett! Stay back, X! I'll take him on! And then him and Boba Fett are going to go fight. They slide away. And I follow my own Mega Blast in there. So, like I said, a little bit of a longer episode of Mega Man, uh... X and usual, that's to show you some important stuff. Ooh, ooh. that didn't sound good. Ow. Ooh, oh, okay. I don't think the fight went as well as we'd hoped for Zero. He might be in some trouble, guys. Not gonna lie. Yep, he got his ass kicked by Boba Fett. X, do what it, do what I tell you, or he's just he's history. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> don't listen to him, X. Go ahead and blast him. Dream on, Zero. X knows he can't defeat me. <laughs> My armored Mandalorian armor is more than a match for his ancient weapons. Okay, now I want you to know uh, this is one of those fights you can't win. So I'm going to fight back kind of just for the sake of dramatics, but you really have no chance of defeating the German. I don't, I don't know why they, would, they have these kinds of fights, but you know, whatever. If you want to fight, you can just stand there and just let him clobber you and it'll just end the fight much faster. Be careful though, because he has to like, kind of shoot you with his stun ray thing for this fight to end. So I'm just going to stand here and let him clobber me. There we go. Okay, now he's going to try to stun me. Pow, I'm stunned. I even landed in the appropriate spot for it, so that's going to be it. Oh, what's that? Maybe, but I'm not through yet. Beep. No, Zero! I loved you! Were you a boy or a girl, by the way? Zero! Zero! Oh, He self-destructed to save me. And now Boba Fett's still alive and just outside of his giant walker. What a worthless gesture. I can't be defeated so easily. <laughs> so, X, it's just you and me now. And then I'm like, no, it ain't! I'm gonna kick your ass and I power up. Oh, okay, crap. <laughs> what the? Where did that energy come from? It really doesn't matter how much energy you absorb, X. You are still far too weak. Prepare to be terminated. <laughs> okay. And the boss fight is on just like that. Oh, crap. Oh, balls. Well... I was going to try to use the Hayuken on him, but um, I derped on that one. Oh, you know what? We can just do this. Oh, okay. What the? There we go. He's dead. See? It kills him in one shot. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Martyr, that's cheating, man. Why didn't you find him fair and square? And it's because I earned that. I, I took the time to get it. It's not cheating. There we go. Zero! X, I've taken too much damage. 
Auto repair systems can't handle it. My power is fading fast. Your power is greater than I thought. He's bleeding, he's a robot, I don't understand. Maybe you can destroy Sigma. Maybe I can't, I don't really know. Oh no, he disappeared like a Jedi. Oh well, he's dead. <laughs> Alright, now uh, this next part is kind of annoying. So what I suggest doing is activating the chameleon's um, ability, charging it up, and then kind of doing the Mario wake through this entire area. Because this area is bloody annoying, and trust me when I say, very annoying. No oh, balls. I might derp here a little bit because, well, this area is so friggin' annoying. And you'll see why when I'm talking about here. But hopefully I can get through it, and I did, huzzah! Otherwise you'd have to get through all that, and ugh, it was so annoying. So here we go, we're on our way to another boss fight. And, uh, who is it gonna be this time? Oh my goodness! It's the Boomer Kawanga! He's back! Let's kill him! He's gonna try to do his teleporting thingy. It's pretty much the exact same strategy for last time we fought him. Really, you don't even have to run away from him, he's just kind of a wuss. He tries to teleport a lot, he tries to hit you. That's it, he's dead. You don't get an upgrade from him this time. But he just drops dead and we can move along. Alright, we're gonna stop here in a little bit. We're just actually just about nearing the end of the first level. The boss stage level is actually several levels, not just one. And I'm going to suggest something to you right now. You're gonna to want to recover whatever health you lost. Because, if at all possible, you're going to want to use the Hayukin on the boss. And the reason for that is he's freaking annoying. I mean, so annoying, you have no idea. So here we are at the last boss of the stage. We're going to stop here for now, and we'll pick it up next time. As always, if there's a game you want me to play, tweet at me at MartyrA2J. And next time we take down this boss, and head into the second stage of the final stages of Mega Man X. Alright, see you then.